What's up everybody? This is Nastik and I'm back with another video. I'm sorry I haven't been like uploading for a while because of a lot of shit that was going on, but I'm back and in this video I'm just going to be showing you how I made my track Kale Badal. This is the most recent track that I uploaded. If you didn't get a chance to listen to it, I will leave a link down below or I will leave a card somewhere up here. So I will just show you how I made the beat, how I mixed it and maybe some vocal processing as well. So let's just get into it without wasting any further time. So the beat starts. Well, so before anything, I uh, let me just quickly show you how the beat sounds like all together. So this is how it is. This is how the beat sounds all together. This was the chorus section of the track. Let me just quickly show you how it uh, all started. So this is the basic melody and I have used this bell sound. Uh, it sounds something like this. So there is a lot of EQ going on for this bell sound because I have this sitar sound layered with this sound with this bell sound so I didn't want them to clash so that is the reason I just like created a high cut for the for the bell sound and then I have this sitar sound layered with it so let me just quickly show you the bell sound without any effects on it So this is how it sounds and then I have this sitar sound here. So I just named it sitar, uh, it's, it doesn't really sound like a sitar at all. So this is how it, it sounds without any effects. So if you pay attention these two sounds do not sound good when they are played by themselves. But since I had to layer those, uh, that is the reason I made it sound like that so that when they are uh, like on top of each other, this they sound good and they complement each other instead of their frequencies clashing with each other. And then I have just panned it to left and right. And then I have this guitar sound. This is how the guitar sounds without any effects. there is not a lot of things that is going on with the guitar I just have this halftime effect and this fruity per parametric EQ just some basic EQ in and let's come to this third section and this I have this bass sound excuse the fucking spelling <laughs> this is how this bass sounds on its own and this is how it sounds with the effect So I've really cut down the higher frequencies till like um, 200 hertz, uh, more than 200 hertz, around 300 hertz. And then the, I have used decapitator, and I've enabled the punish mode. This is just a saturation plugin. You can use any plugin that you want. Then I have compressed it a little, and then just another EQ at the end. So this is how I process the bass. And then this this is like the strings that I use only in the chorus section. So th this is how it sounds. For the string, I have just added this EQ uh, just to cut down all the unwanted frequencies, that's all. Alright, so that was all for the melodic section of the track. Now let's get into the drums. So for the hi-hat, I have just used this free cymatics loop. That's all and then the there are just these drums Woo. 
and when we mix all like the drum sections including the bass and hi hats it sounds something like this so let me quickly show you how i process the drums this is how the kick sounds without any effect so it was it had more of a thump uh, like on the original sample i just wanted to be a little bit more like on the higher side of the frequency spectrum so that it is audible even on like phone speakers and laptop speakers so that is all i did so there is some eq there is some compression there is some saturation and then i like to add this soft clipper plugin this works like a limiter you see this post gain knob over here you just turn it down a little then you go to kick and go to this wrench look kind of looking tool and then you just increase the volume not too much but to the point where it, where the kick doesn't sound lifeless so i i do this with all my drums i have done this with the snare as well and yes and if i had an 808 maybe i would have done it with uh, with an 808 as well but for this i did not use any 808 all right so that was the drum section so that was the kick for the snare as well i just removed unwanted frequencies then i just compressed it and used a soft clipper on it for the percussions i haven't used anything and for this vocal woo sound this one so this is how it sounds without any effects so there's nothing to it there's just one um saturation uh, with wave shaper and just some reverb so that was all for the instrumental section of the song so now let's jump into the the vocal session of the song in which i mixed and recorded the vocal all right so now we are on the session on which i recorded the vocals for this track so first thing that i did i just added this crow sound on every fifth bar so this is how it sounds with the beat So this is just something extra that I added to it and let's uh, take a listen. Ale badal dekho saath mere chale kabhi picha nahi chhodiye karte hain mujhe pagal main prakash ki talash mein ghoomta hi ja raha hu. All right so this is how the chorus section of the track sounds. So let me just quickly show you what all I did in order to mix the track. All right so this first recording that you see here this is like the most prominent one. and it is like the one which is audible all the other three they are just complimenting this one so this is how it sounds on its own kale padal dekho saath mere chale kabhi picha nahi chhod then i have these two and this is nothing just the same uh, like i recorded it differently but i have processed it in a different way i have just turned down the format a little bit to give it a little darker sound and i have panned these two to hard left and right This is how they sound together. Kale pat dekho saath mere chale kabhi picha nahi chhode ye karte hain mujhe pagal. And then this there is the final recording. So in this I sang the chorus a little bit higher than the original take uh, so that I can layer it and this is how it sounds on its own. Kale badal dekho saath mere chale kabhi picha nahi chhode ye karte hain mujhe pagal. All right and when we mix all these together this is how they sound. काले बादल देखो साथ मेरे चले कभी पीछा नहीं छोड़े ये करते हैं मुझे पागल सो लेट मी क्विकली शो यू द प्रोसेसिंग चेन फॉर दीज वोकल्स सो दिस इज लाइक द मेन वोकल लेट्स गो वन बाय वन एंड आई विल शो यू व्हाट ऑल आई डिड सो फर्स्ट थिंग आई रिमूव्ड द अनवांटेड लो फ्रीक्वेंसीज दैट डजंट साउंड गुड एट ऑल देन आई कंप्रेस्ड इट अ लॉट एंड आई एम यूजिंग द फैब फिल्टर सी2 फॉर दिस so the threshold for this is minus 24 db i have like the style or preset whatever you, you want to call this i have selected it to vocal the attack is pretty low and the release is in auto and then there is auto gain then i have added some noise reduction and some deesser then i have added this a uh, fab filter saturation it's a uh, satin it's a saturation plugin 
then uh, some rx7 breath control and then there's some reverb and that is all for the processing chain for the main vocal i also like to add like these little effects like according to the lyrics so on the part where i say ko pasand koi na to roz maal mein jalau so on this part i have added this light like light of flicker sound and i have also like panned it then on the part where i say ye sab sa pehre hain agar main ek saap hu so on that part i have added this cobra sound whatever this is ek saap hu shant hu main akela this is the sound so this is pretty much what i did for the entire song so that was all for the video thank you so much for watching and if you made it this far please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification as well you can also leave a comment down below just any suggestion criticism or compliment or if you want me to cover any specific uh, any specific topic on my next video and i will see you guys next time peace out